Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor. And today, I'm gonna review it for you guys. Now, the last time I reviewed a Raptor, it was the only full-size performance off-road truck on the market. But oh, how times are a-changing. Now it faces stiff competition from the likes of the Ram TRX and, to a lesser extent, the ZR2. Does this hold a candle to the TRX? Where does the phrase hold a candle even come from? These questions and more might be answered. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to answer the candle one. On today's episode of Whatever I Call This Show. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Koch 33 Ford for allowing me to borrow this vehicle to review. For all your Ford needs, you can visit their website, koch33ford.net. Starting out up front on the Raptor, this maintains the beefy architecture that the previous generations of the Raptor have had over the years, building upon the traditional F-150 look with wider fender flares and more aggressive styling. Personally, I don't really think this Raptor looks too terribly different from the outgoing model. Yes, there is definitely distinct styling cues that tell you this is the new body style, but for the most part, it looks pretty similar. Not that that's a bad thing, just something of note. Right here, you'll get full LED headlights with LED daytime running lights and LED turn signals. The Raptor variant forgoes the whitish blue LED daytime running lights for these amber ones, which then match the marker lights in the center of the grille. Because this is a wider truck, it has to go up in vehicle class, which basically means it needs marker lights to distinctualize itself on the road. You'll see the marker lights even extend out here to show the width of it. You'll have fully LED fog lights as well, and then you'll have parking sensors along the lower bumper on the front fascia here, and then you'll get tow hooks, of course, and then no traditional blue oval Ford badge. You'll have Ford spelled out across the front with a front camera here. That brings us underneath the hood. This Raptor is powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6, which makes a whopping 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque, which are absolutely phenomenal numbers for any pickup truck. That was until the TRX was unveiled with 702 horsepower, which caused Ford to have to also announce a Raptor R variant, which is supposedly going to be an even higher performance version of this truck. Hey, editing Isaac here, and it turns out they actually fully unveiled the Raptor R about three days after I filmed this. And this video probably isn't going up for another month or so, so, I absolutely have to address the Raptor R horsepower. They announced it's gonna have 700 horsepower, which is good, but still not at the threshold of the TRX. A little disappointing, but I'm sure there's some logistical stuff there, and it is a market improvement over the current 450 horsepower. Moving to the profile of the Raptor, starting here with the wheels and tires, you'll get absolutely Gigunda ginormous 315 70R BF Goodridge all terrains around these 17 inch beadlock wheels. I really like the design. I think they really stand out quite well. And then you're going to have Fox shock suspension in here. You can see that back there. And as we move down the profile, you'll get this F 150 uh, Raptor running board. This is stationary, it does not move on this truck. And then you'll have a camera in the mirror here for the 360 degree camera system. You'll have a light and turn signal indicator. It is body color matched and it has power, obviously. There are also power folding and blind spot monitoring. So a lot incorporated into that mirror. Then you'll have keyless entry. So if I put my hand back here, you'll hear it unlocks. So I can just do that. I have the key in my pocket, tap that. Yep, and it relocked. And then up here, if you want to throw your keys inside, you can put a passcode on the truck. And uh, let's say you go to the beach, or you're going snowboarding, you just don't want to bring your keys at risk of losing them. Throw them in the glove box, lock them in there, and, uh, and you can put this code in so nobody can get into the truck. Very smart, very 
resourceful. Moving down the profile here, this one does not have the Raptor graphic on the rear. It's a little bit more subdued than some of the other variants of this truck, you know, getting it in bright orange with the huge splash graphic back here. I think it looks pretty good like this, a little bit more subtle in its design. And then you'll have, well, I guess maybe this isn't the most subtle. You have Ford spelled out in giant lettering across the truck, F-150 and Raptor down here. And then you're gonna get dual exhaust with parking sensors and rear recovery hooks, as well as your tow hitch right here. And then if we come up here, you'll have a little puddle light and your backup camera hitting this button. It is a dampened tailgate. A lot going on here. So A, you have C clamps right here. So you can uh, use this bed pretty well for functionality. You have some measurement tools, spots for cup holders, spots for pencils. Uh, and then over here, you'll have an AC 120 volt outlet. Actually, you'll have two of them. Now there are two of them. You'll have lighting, LED lighting in the bed, spots for tie downs with a spray in bed liner. And then also it's, you know, it's pretty hard to get up into this. You know, I'm 5'9 and, and it's pretty big, pretty big leap to get up in there, but I'm a spry young gentleman. What if you're not a spry young gentleman? Well, there is a button right here. You can pull and that's gonna pull out this step for easier access up into the bed. So you would put your foot there, hand there, and then boom, you have walked right into your bed and it is as easy as that. While we're up here, I do wanna talk about the bed camera that this comes with. So we'll elaborate on that a little bit more when we move to the interior, but let's say you have a bunch of cargo in the bed. Um, you can pull that up on the screen and just see what's back here if somebody's blocking your peripheral vision. So that is really nice. A lot of functionality here and it's pretty easy to close this back up. There's little numbers. So one means we push that back down. Two means we push that. This is hard to do with one hand. Let's do it with my hand and my foot. Two, there we go. And then three folds back up into there and your tailgate is flush again. And then you can pop that back up there. So a lot of functionality in the rear taking a look at the key fob really quick before we fully move into the interior you'll have lock unlock panic you also have remote start and the ability to drop the tailgate from the key fob that's becoming pretty common nowadays but always a nice feature all righty moving to the interior here on the raptor it is fairly similar to a regular F-150 here, but with some unique accents. This one specifically has the carbon fiber package, so you'll have a continuous carbon fiber aesthetic throughout the interior here. Let's start with the door panel. You'll have your window switches, your mirror controls. It does have power folding mirrors. Always nice to see that. And then you do have your controls for the seats. They of course are power up front here. This is a nice softer touch material. And then of course you'll have carbon fiber right there as well. This is very nice plump leather. And then down here, you will have quite a few buttons. You'll have your lights on the mirrors. You'll have your charge port in the back. You can drop your tailgate from in here as well. Then you'll have your lighting controls right here, your automatic pedals so you can pull forward and retract the pedals if you are really tall or really short. Uh, that's a very nice feature because in addition to that, you'll also have a fully power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Really like seeing that. And then you'll have your electronic parking brake. Right here, you have quite a few controls on the steering wheel. So you'll have a lot of cruise control settings right here, your volume, your Bluetooth. You'll have your Raptor button right here, which basically looks through your drive modes and a lot of different uh, settings right there. You can kind of see what modes you're in. And then down here, this is a crazy button. This is your tamper and it tells you basically what suspension mode you want to be in, off-road, sport, or normal. That's really cool. And then over here, you'll have um, your exhaust. So it'll also tell you, hey, this is how I want my exhaust to sound. So I want to put it in sport and then... Now, of course, I do think they're still pumping in fake engine noise somewhere in here, so I don't know how authentic that actually is. Regardless, you'll have more controls right here for your center gauge screen. This is fully digital. Love to see that. There's a lot of stuff you can run through on here. 
um, settings, your digital speedometer, and of course your uh, different modes like your drive modes and your steering control. Uh, that's also accessible from the steering wheel, which is really, really nice. And then you can configure your gauges. I love when fully digital gauge clusters do this. So I can just say, let's say I want my vacuum and boost gauge, I can put it up there. Um, there's just a lot of different things. I could throw battery voltage there. There's a lot of different uh, customization on this and customizability here. If we pull out to the steering wheel, you'll have fully leather wrapped here with this really nice red accent uh, that kind of, again, continues throughout the truck. There's a couple of those red accents that coincide with the carbon fiber, though the red accent is pretty standard on these things. If we move over here, you have um, a giant infotainment screen. Uh, this says, don't pray for me. I'm a Christian. I think you should pray for people. I don't know about this song. This is just whatever's on Sirius XM. But I'm going to disagree with Within Temptation. I don't think you uh, should forego prayer. Anyway, if we move here, you'll have different features right here like zone lighting. Absolutely love zone lighting. What you can do is you can click this um, and turn on all the lights. So as you can see here, we can do basically 360 degree lighting around the truck. That is amazing. As far as I know, Ford is still the only one to really do this. And that is a huge advantage over the TRX and the ZR2. Um, I, that's even on lower trim models of Fords too. I think if you're taking this off road, you absolutely need that lighting, especially if it starts to get dark outside. A um, lot of different settings here. You'll have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto incorporated into this. Um, uh oh, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, there is a uh, speed compensated volume. I get okay. <laughs> so there is interior noise, basically interior pumped sound. Interesting. So I guess you can turn that off, which is a neat feature as well. Pretty standard though, built in navigation over here. So you can kind of split the screen into what you want. Up here, you do have your camera view. So we don't even have it in reverse, but if you want to see your camera view, you can still click that button. Um, 360 degree camera, really nice and a pretty high quality backup and front camera. There's a lot of different uh, modes that you can run through here. If I just want the front, if I want all three in the front, if I want the bed camera, the aforementioned bed camera, this one is not as high quality, but that's still okay. You know, if you're on the highway you just need a quick camera that you can look in the back as you can see my my tripods back there that's covered in paint from the last f-150 video i did and uh so there's a lot of different customization features right there um there is parking assist in this truck so it will basically help you park that is really cool i've demonstrated that in a few other videos basically it just takes over you pull up to a spot it takes over the steering wheel turns and uh, guides you into a spot. It's a neat feature with basically a self parking, but I think it's actually faster to just go into a parking spot, but it's a nice party trick. Then you'll have your hazards up here, traction control off, and then I think this is the, yeah, this is trail control right here, so you can pull that up. A lot of off-road settings here. I think that this might be the champion of off-road features. It's very, very close with Ram, though I think Chevy is still lagging behind. That's why I said in the intro, it's kind of a lesser extent with the ZR2. That truck just doesn't feel like a fully committed off-road performance truck like this and the TRX do. Anyway, moving down here, you'll have your climate controls, heated and ventilated seats. It is, let's see, 93 degrees outside and boy, I'm feeling it. These ventilated seats are incredibly nice, really cool, uh, literally on a, on a hot day. And then you'll have your uh, drive mode selector right here, your uh, trailer braking assist and your pro trailering system. And then you'll have this nice little carbon fiber cover right here. But of course, opening it up, you do have a wireless charger, USB and USB-C. Then you'll have cup holders, fold down shifter. Now, a lot of the other F-150s I've recently reviewed haven't had this, but this one does. You can actually fold the glove box uh, or, or this center console box cover over and the lid creates this large workspace. So if you wanna put a laptop whatever food you can kind of have this larger open sp oh i just hit my funny bone you ever hit your funny bones your whole arm goes numb oh boy um <laughs> a lot of open space right here but the other cool feature is so that opens back there you can also open it up here for a huge amount of storage with a coin holder uh which is of course removable and more usb and usb c there so a lot 
of customization right there. More cup holders back there. You do have auxiliary switches, which is really, really nice. So if you wanna hook up light bars, tow winches, whatever, you can hook that up to the pre-installed auxiliary switches. You have your power sliding rear window right there if you wanna open that up. And then you do have a completely panoramic uh, moon roof up here, which is a nice feature that's also controlled uh, with the buttons up here. And pretty standard auto dimming mirror nothing crazy there's no um camera in the mirror like some of the competition but it is nice to have you have a bang and olufsen sound system in here um but that pretty much wraps up the front the last thing i want to talk about is the seats i'm gonna say it i think this might be the most comfortable i've ever been in a pickup truck these seats are incredibly plush they're a mix of alcantara and leather they're so comfortable i mean you just sink into them this is might be the most comfortable I've ever been in a truck seat next to, and this is going to sound weird, I was in a 2005 Chevy Tahoe one time with the leather package, and that was so comfortable. You just sunk into the seat. I mean, you could fall asleep in these things. And, uh, I, and that has been my ranking system, my barometer of how amazing seats are. And I think this might top it. They're incredible. And on top of their amazing plush comfort, they also have speakers in them. You can see the Bang & Olufsen logo right there. There is speakers in the headrest. So when you crank music, you're not only getting music there, 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 but also there, which is amazing. Let's take a quick look at the back seats. Moving to the rear seats, they are just as plush and comfortable. Unfortunately, no speakers in the rear headrests. That would be incredible. That would be astronomically cool if there was speakers here in the headrest, but you do get a fold down armrest with cup holders in the uh, middle seat there. Always love seeing that. And then down here, you do get climate vents with heated seats back here. Those are pretty rare. Um, we're slowly kind of seeing those more often now on pickup trucks. Really cool to see here in the rear seats. Then you'll have a 12 volt. You'll have a USB and USB-C as well as a household outlet back here. So quite a lot of amenities, a lot of available features. But let's say you're just going to use this for storage. How does it fare on the storage front? Well, if we fold the seats up, you can see there is a nice storage box underneath the seats. But, and I just have to give it to Ford on this one this is incredible let's say you don't want the storage box a lot of other competition has the storage box let's say you want the flush load floor well down here there is a little latch that if you you pull that down the entire box collapses to a flat load floor and you can do that on either side and you can lock it in place if you want which is even cooler and if not you can uh, unlock it and all you have to do is just pull this latch back up if you want a unique divider really really clever have to give it to Ford on that one that is an amazing feature and if you want to just put the seats back down um, you do have to pull this latch so that is unfortunate I like on some of the competition I believe Chevy does this you can just fold them up and fold them down you don't need that latch um, that can just be a, an extra step that's a little annoying. So I wanted to point that out. So driving the 2022 Raptor, what does it feel like? Well, honestly, the steering is really responsive, very grippy, very tight. I was driving it a little bit before I filmed here. And if we open it up, it's quick. It gets up to speed real quick. Again, don't know how much that nice noise is coming in through the speakers. If it is a good deal of noise, I'm impressed because it sounds like it's outside. Um, and it gets up to speed right quick. I like it quite a bit. And you know, the TRX on paper is better. Um, in handling, I find them to be pretty similar. I do like the interior of the TRX just a tad bit more than this. Here's what I think happened. So Raptor comes out, it's revolutionary. Everyone's like, oh my word, this is an incredible truck. It sells pretty good. Then Chevy says, well, we gotta, we gotta play catch up. They're already in their second generation of the Raptor. They come out with the Trail Boss and Ram in its response comes out with the Rebel a little bit before that. So Ford looks at the Rebel and the Trail Boss and goes, <laughs> funny, 
because those trucks are whatever comparatively to the Raptor. The Raptor was still on top in performance off-road trucks. Not to say the Rebel and the Trail Boss are bad, they're just nowhere near close to having the off-road prowess that this does and the features. And so they were like, we're on top. Ford was like, we are the king of this. And I don't think they were expecting the TRX to be as good as it was. And Ford goes, eh, because they hadn't unveiled this generation of Raptor yet. And they figured we can just coast on through because we're the king of off-road performance trucks. The TRX is finally amazing competition for this truck. And they, I don't think they were expecting that. So they unveiled the regular Raptor, this body style, which is good and comes with a lot more than the outgoing model had and I'm impressed with it overall it is a good truck but it's not a revolutionary truck it's an evolutionary version of the outgoing Raptor and so they were kind of forced into a corner of announcing the Raptor R and they couldn't even really show anything because they didn't have anything they might have been in early developmental stages of creating it but I think they were really rushed to announce it when the TRX came out and had such high horsepower and torque. And so I hope for the next generation of this truck, which who knows, it might be electric, it really ups everything that it has, but it's more revolutionary in its design because now there's competition, which I think is fantastic. Overall, this is a great truck. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up my review of this F-150 Raptor. I really hope you enjoyed. But before I go, I'd like to leave you with a Bible verse. This week's is Psalms 84.10. Better is one day in your courts than thousands elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. The writer of this is saying, hey, it is so much better to be in the presence of God and pursuing him than anything else in this world. And I have to wholeheartedly agree. God has been the biggest change in my life and he has led me down a path of being more humble and pursuant of him and he'll do the same for you and I can promise you that if you choose to pursue God and follow Jesus in your heart that it will be the absolute best decision that you've ever made all right guys I'll see you next time take care